This week on the season finale of A Comic Book Orange, we go on vacation with Day Tripper, take a scan through Star Trek McCoy, and interview Scott Pilgrim creator Brian Lee O'Malley. Twin brothers and comic book artists Fabio Moon and Gabriel Ba bring their latest creation to Vertigo Comics. It's called Day Tripper! Oh! brothers and comic book artists Fabio Moon and Gabrielle Ba bring their latest creation to Vertigo Comics. It's called Date. <laughs> Twin brothers and comic book artists Fabio Moon and Gabrielle Ba bring their latest creation to Vertigo Comics. It's called Day Tripper. <laughs> <laughs> Fabio Moon and Gabrielle Ba share duties as both writers and artists on Day Tripper. The series is an experiment in storytelling with each issue covering the same fateful day of Bras de Uleva Domingos' life, the day of his death. Except who Bras is and how he meets his end changes each month. On one hand, the creators do an amazing job reintroducing us to the characters and revealing a whole new history, so we can't help but feel disappointment when the killing blow comes. On the other hand, part of the disappointment comes from the story seeming a little directionless, with the stakes never getting very high. The brothers have long credentials as illustrators and bring some of their best work here. It seems simple at first with the loose European style, but everything is rendered with a full lush feeling. The pencils, colors, and inks all come together to clearly deliver the tale. Day Tripper is a personal creation for Ba and Moon, and we applaud Vertigo's decision to publish it, though it didn't completely captivate us. We give it 2.5 oranges out of 5. Also available this week, Garth Ennis and Jason Burroughs' Crossed reached its effective if subtle ending a couple of months ago. We gave the series four oranges when we first reviewed it, and Avatar now collects it in a graphic novel. Jason Aaron continues an epic run on Marvel's Punisher Max, with hardcore reinventions of the deadly vigilante and arch villains such as Kingpin and Bullseye. It's five orange work that deserves your attention. And finally, damn it, Jim! IDW Star Trek McCoy is a comic, not a doctor! Legendary John Byrne brings his classic style to the classic show for a fun 2.5 orange read. This week, we interview Brian Lee O'Malley, writer, artist, and creator of Epic of Epic Epicness, Scott Pilgrim. The final volume of Scott Pilgrim is coming out around the time of the movie. What sort of influenced that? Was that on purpose? Yes, it was, it was on purpose. We want to get the book out before the movie because I feel like if the movie came out and then the book came out like a few months later, it would kind of sap the momentum or, or suck the life out of the book. So I hope to get it out beforehand because that would be way better. Is the movie going to cover the, the last volume? It covers my rough notes from the last volume. So basically, no. It covers the first four volumes like pretty in depth and then five and six, like just little bits here and there. You're a musician and you've been, aren't you? <laughs> Sometimes. Well, you've actually written songs in Scott Pilgrim. So how fleshed out is that? Did you actually write songs on the side or did you just write a bunch of, uh, you know, bullshit? <laughs> uh, I, yeah, the latter, I think. I wrote two songs like right when it was starting. So one song for Sex Bob Bomb and then one song that he sings about his restaurant that didn't show up until the end of volume two. But I wrote it like in 2003. And then I basically didn't think about the music at all after that. It just became a visual thing, like fake music. And then, you know, the movie started. So, like, I got to hear actual music, uh, like, about a year ago and, and less. Since then, I've heard more and more. There's a lot of great celebrities that have been cast in the new Scott Pilgrim movie. Who did you sort of think of in the role of Scott Pilgrim? I never really thought about it, to be honest. I just, uh, I see him as a big-eyed cartoon character. So, um... I see him as a human, like, somewhere in there, but never specifically. So I never thought about it. And then, you know, when they cast Michael Sarah, I was just like, okay, I guess. And then, you know, when I see him, like, actually doing the martial arts and all this amazing stuff and just acting like a complete lunatic, I think he's awesome in the role. For more information on Brian Lee O'Malley, check out his website at radiomaru.com or follow him on Twitter as at radiomaru. Well, that's it for this season. We're off for now, but be sure to follow us on Twitter for updates and awesome links between seasons. See you next time on a Comic Book Orange. No, uh, Scott, Pil Pil Scott Pilgrim Volume 6. Dude, you've been doing this for years. You think you could pronounce the name of your own cartoon character? Scott Pilgrim Volume 6. Mm.